<laughs> but you don't understand, Kevin. I've got to be an extra in peak practice. I was made for the part. Well, why can't you use your influence? <laughs> oh, well, if that's your attitude, I'm just going to turn up when you're filming. You stand on the hillside in the brightly coloured cagoule and upstage you. All right, thank you. I'll feed it in, Pratt. Ha! It's Shuttleworth Showtime! <laughs> yes, indeed. It's Shuttleworth Showtime! To be honest, I'm not bothered about being an extra anymore. And on this week's show, I'm setting my sights a little higher. I'm going to try and get a job as Santa Claus. Also, I'll be interviewing Shed Seven. And another home recording enthusiast will bring me a demo. Shuffle with Showtime! Oh, yeah! It's Shuffle Showtime! And alternative comedian Nick Wilty will be ringing from his houseboat in a vain attempt to make Mary merry. Please be seated for this week's edition of Shuffle with Showtime! Hello, John Shuttleworth here. Are you having a good week? Are you listening to a comfortable volume? If not, then uh, please make any adjustments now. That doesn't mean switch it off. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, <clears throat> have you got yourself uh, a nice video out to watch later on? If so, don't forget to return it in the morning, will you? Or an extra day's hire may be incurred. Well, I've had a busy day. Bought a new holdo from the indoor market. And before that, I went to get a key cut. I was with my wife, Mary. Um, she's out at a friend, Joan Chitters, at the moment, collecting a pair of leggings that she lent Joan more than two weeks ago. She's been hanging on to them, and it's not on. Anyway, we had the uh, cappuccino in the arcade. That's the new one they're doing, isn't it? Lovely and frothy. Uh, you get little bits of chocolate on your lips. But that's all right, you know, it's a nice sensation. And we kick off with The Chicken Door by Alice Donut. To go with the cappuccino. Yeah. Hello. Aha. Ken Worthington's arrived. Yes. Come in, Ken. Thank you. Ken's my uh, next door neighbour and sole agent. Mm -hmm. And of course, was on New Faces in '73. Oh. Uh, yes, he did come last. Mm. But uh, it was definitely him. You know. Yes, it was. Ken, who's that in the hall? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Come in, love. This is, uh, your new stable mate, Jim. Pardon? It's my latest signing. Julie Satan. Ooh. Pleased to meet you, love. Where's Bob Ken? I'm busting. It's upstairs, love. First on the left. Whoa. <laughs> Where did you find her, Ken? In a pub. In Keithley. Did you? She knocked me Malibu over. Ooh. Yeah, but, you know, what's she doing here? I want on the show, Jim. Oh, sorry, Ken. No, we're, we're fully booked up this week. No. A very full schedule. I need to get to some engagements, John. Yes, well... Mini tour of service messes, that sort of thing. Yeah. Is it blue what she does? It's a little bit saucy, I believe. Well, that's no good to me, Ken. This is a family show. No, it isn't. It's for disaffected youngsters who want a bit of excitement. And Julie can provide this. Oh. Please. Uh, all right, then. Oh. I'll see if I can squeeze her in later on. Thank you, John. Thank right, you. Well, right now, Ken, I have an important phone call to me. You have to excuse me. Yes, all right. Julie! Julie! Good afternoon, Beatrice and Mo. Can I help? Yes, hello. Um, are you looking for a Santa? For Santa's Grotto? We've not got a Santa's Grotto, love, I don't think. Oh, why not? That's uh, going to disappoint the little boys and girls, isn't it? Um, let me just ask manager just a minute. Thank you. Good afternoon, can I help you? Yes, uh, I'd be very interested in playing Santa for you. <laughs> Would you? Yes. <laughs> Tell me what sort of things that you... What, what sort of things you do. We haven't got a grotto. No. Well, um, basically, you know, I've, I've, I'm quite experienced. I've, I, was on, I was on telly with the Children in Need. Right. 91, dressed yep. as a tanner. Uh, yeah. The big floppy hat. Uh, you couldn't really see me. There was a group of firemen in front of us. They had a bigger check than us, you know. Right. And... You know, I've got children of my own. My, my grandniece, Michaela, sits on my knee and sort of falls backwards and giggles, you know. Yeah. My, my knees are quite comfortable to sit on. Yeah. They're not too bony, which can be a problem. Yeah. Uh, with, with older men, you know. Yeah. So what sort of thing could you do for us in this store with not having a grotto? 
Well, I could uh, distribute sweets. Yes. I could um, sing little songs, you know, Jennifer Rush, foreign and that sort of thing. Yes. Um, do a little knock knockabout routine. Right. Whatever you want to. Okay. What 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 sort of charge? Um, well, I do it for nothing really. Would you? Um, no, pay me my petrol money. Okay. Um, okay let me take your name. Ah, uh, yes, it's uh, John Shuttleworth. Shuttleworth. Yes. Okay, well, what I'll do, John, I'll go, I'll go away and sort of, um, you know, have a think about it. All right. So I'll, I'll give you I'll give you a call. Thank you. Um, it'll probably be next week, John. All right. Early on next week. Thank you very and much. And I'll come back to you. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. 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 <laughs> Lovely. Hey, I'm going to be Santa. Hello, children. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Oh, oh Julie. That's lovely. Fantastic. I thought you said she was a personality vocalist, Ken. She is. When's she going to start singing? No, she mimes, John. But she left her backing tapes in the pub. Yeah, that's no good, is it? That's not going to come over very well on the radio. Well, describe what she's doing then, John. I'd rather not, actually. Why does she keep sticking her tongue in and out like a viper? Oh, it's just a gimmick, John. Oh, I see. What, like uh, Carter, with a strand of air? Mind you, they don't have that anymore. Oh, it's squashed in here. Oh, with this nest of table. Oh, yes, very interesting, love. Just mind what you're doing with that broadsword. You only took my dog's head off there. Um, I'm going to have to ask you to finish now, Julie, please. Because it's time now to meet another aspiring singer-songwriter. Oh, right. Bring me, bring me, bring me a day. And this week I'm joined by Will Walker. Hello there, John. Hello, Will. Are you well? I'm not too bad at all. Yeah. <clears throat> now, you're sporting uh, a beard. Uh, yes, I am. Nice of you to notice, John. It's uh, an unusual beard in that it's very full. <laughs> it's on my face. Yeah. No, no. That, don't be silly, lad. You know, it's obviously <laughs> on your face, but it's very dark and it's very dense. Well, it's like black hair. That's what... Yeah, but it's like um, what I'm leading to is like the bloke on the Quaker Oats advert, isn't it? But... <laughs> But it's black, it's not white. And you've also got uh, black curly hair on your head. In fact, you know, I was just thinking before you could actually turn your head 180 degrees and it looked quite similar, wouldn't it? Do you think you couldn't do that? Uh, Physically you couldn't, but, you know, from an artistic point of view, it, it'd look the same. Anyway, we're rambling. Where'd you hail from, Will? I'm from Salford originally. Oh, yeah. Originally? Well, I've moved to Norwich since. Norwich? <coughs> oh, that's mm. where uh, the man in the moon came down into it too soon. And, I had no idea, John. <laughs> and he had, he had uh, some cold porridge. Do you not know that rhyme? I've never heard of it. Where have you been? It's a traditional children's rhyme. Anyway, have you brought us, you brought us a demo? I have, you? yeah. Brought it here. Good. What's the format? Uh, it's on the four-track uh, cassette on the Porter One I recorded it. Oh, that sounds a bit yeah. complicated. Well, it's just a cassette deck with only four tracks on, but I've actually brought the machine along, just in case. Yeah, you know. I know. It's a dainty little thing, isn't it? Can you help just put it in our Amstrad, then? Our well, Amstrad it, 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 would, it wouldn't play right. The, the head format's different on, on the actual uh, cassette deck. Is it? It wouldn't play. I see, and you've got lots of tone, haven't you? Tone buttons and that. Well, it has a treble in a bit, yes. Well, I hope you're not like that lad last week, Andrew Sharpley, because he was a bit of a loony, wasn't he? Uh, well, it's, it's all a matter of opinion. He, he makes his music, I make mine, you make yours. Yeah, but it wasn't yeah. music, though, was it? Well, what is, what is music? You know, it's all noises, it's all sounds, it's all rock and roll at the end of the day. Rock and roll? Ooh. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing it then. Okay, um, yeah. We're all plugged in, aren't we? Yeah, I'll go in. Very three yeah. seconds. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, Will Walker's demo. Good. <laughs> Has it got a title? Uh, yeah, it's called uh, What Did You Do in the What's Dada? Oh. It's an anagram? No. It's a pun? No. It's, it's just a title, John. Oh. <coughs> That's nice. Kate Bush, isn't it, a bit? <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> oh, Ralph Harris, it's a bit like as well, isn't it? 
stuck my brain is stuck hey. my brain is stuck 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 my
to uh, attempt to make Mary Mary? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm afraid it won't be easy because she's not a fan oh, right. uh, of alternative comedy. No, I'm not. As indeed I'm not. Rubbish. She's in a very bad mood because mm. uh, a, a toby jug got broken. Blinking but have well. a go anyway. Oh. Mary, what? it's for you, love. Oh, oh she's gone off into the kitchen. Oh, I'll have to go and calm her down. Uh, we'll come back to you in a couple of minutes, Nick, if that's all right, because we've got to go to the news now anyway. So, uh, yes, uh, that's what we'll do. And uh, we'll also be talking to Rick Witter, lead singer with Shad Seven, which is the silliest name for a band I've ever heard in my life. Um, here's the news. Oh, please do the item. All right. Oh, thank you. All right, John. Right, Nick Wilty, you have a mere minute in which to make Mary Mary, starting from now. Oh, yeah. Well, do you, li do you live in a posh area, Mary? Um, well, they ones with the blue plaques on the wall. No. You know, that's so like somebody famous lived and died at. We have the same sort of thing where I live. It's like a chalk outline. Chalk outline, yeah. Oh, yeah. I ran into that Paul McKenna on the train the other day. You know, the famous hypnotist. Oh, yeah. Do you believe in hypnotism? Yeah. Yeah, don't bother responding, no. I don't think it works. I sat there talking to him and I think it's a load of old rubbish. Woo-woo, I'm a fireman. Woo-woo, I'm a fireman. Yeah. Uh, I'm on my mobile phone here, you know. You can't use a mobile phone. Generally, round here, you get beaten up for being a yuppie. So I was talking to a mate of mine who's an off-duty copper. He said, what you want to do, yeah. if it rings and you're in amongst the crowd of herberts, pretend you're a drug dealer. So I did, you know, last time it rang... A bunch of herbits looked at me. I said, hello, Boots the chemist. Oh, dear. Uh, no. right. No. John. Oh, you've caught me there. I'm afraid your time no. is up. No. Uh, Thank Nick, you. I'm right. afraid, uh, there was a little flicker no. at was one there? point in, in the eyes. Right. But, uh, to be honest, I would say that she's in a worse mood than before. I am. You know. I mean, you were battling against the odds, but, uh, you did fail. Well, I did try. That was my best material as well. Was it? It was, yeah. Well, um, I'm very sorry to hear that. Well, I think I'll have to reevaluate my whole career now. Yeah. I think, um, 
You know, when she did smile, I think it might have been because she feels a bit sorry for you because you do live on a boat without right. proper sanitation. <laughs> um, yeah. How, yeah. How, are, how are conditions? It's not bad. I mean, I've got myself a, a decent bucket nowadays. What for building sandcastles is that? Well, where I live, you see, it's unfortunately, I'm the only resident around here, you see. I'm floating around the Thames here on my little boat. Yeah. I've got my little telly in the background, one of these four-inch portables, you know. And yeah. Can you make yourself laugh, then? I, d I do have to, mm. sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's the only way it works for me, you know. If I can make myself laugh, then I figure I can make everyone else laugh. But Why don't you move into a little bed sitter, something like that, you know? Or sheltered accommodation, something like that. Because then you'd have a 24 hour warning, and if you did get into trouble, then you'd be covered, wouldn't you? Yeah, you someone... know what? I hadn't looked at it that way. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, well, maybe you should, mate. Maybe you should. So, am I, am I going to get the seven quid or what? Uh, it's not seven quid, uh, Nick, I'm sorry. Yes, hello. Um, could I speak to the Greenland ambassador, please? Uh, there isn't a Greenlandic ambassador, uh, but no. uh, what's he concerning? Well, I want to be uh, Santa in Greenland. I'm sorry? I want to be Santa, Santa Claus. You want to be Santa Claus in it, Greenland? Santa's Grotto. Right. Because I've um, fallen out with, with my wife, you know, yeah. and uh, I don't think I should be around, really, for Christmas, so, you know, mm. so I thought I could come to Greenland. Yeah, um... Be Santa. Would that be possible? Mm, there may be problems with rest uh, working permits. Yeah. Um, so I'm very experienced with young people. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, <coughs> I did a fun swim mm -hmm. recently yep. uh, to raise money to buy boxing gloves for underprivileged boys. Mm -hmm. Now, I was dressed as a foot soldier, Yeah. you know, because they're going to reenact a massacre in the deep end. Mm -hmm. And in the end, uh, I was the only one who turned up in fancy dress. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone else was in the trunks. I felt, felt a bit foolish, mm -hmm. but, uh, so, you know, just, just stood there with me, with me pike, and uh, I helped supervise the table tennis at the YMCA, mm -hmm. uh, so I've got a good knowledge of spin, you know. Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, I think the best thing you can do is actually get in contact with the Greenlandic Home Rule Government. Oh, right. Uh, well, a, a phone number if you've got one, please. Yeah, if you could just hold the line a second. Right, thank you. Oh, onto something. Definitely onto something here. Ocean Pie by Shed 7, who are now ready to come play with John. It will be fun, and as we play, we'll lightly chat away. Yes, and this week I'm joined by Rick from Shed 7. And ironically enough, we're in a shed. Um, well, it's actually Ken's um, Ansel and Gretel shed. It's uh, for children, really, but uh, a grown man can stand fully erect inside it. So you've got an apex roof, you know. Rick, what are you doing uh, crouching in the corner? Come and join us. Hello, I'll stand fully erect in your shed. Oh, yes. <clears throat> now, I notice you're smoking a cigarette. Would you kindly extinguish it? <laughs> because we're in a confined space. Uh, you might ignite the creosote, you know. <laughs> and um, it's quite new, you know, kind of a bit upset. OK, <clears throat> I'll put it out for you, then. He hasn't done it. He's carried on smoking. I can't believe it. Never mind. Listen. Uh, what's what's his chosen game? Um, well, this is it. We haven't got one, have we? This is it. I wouldn't mind playing Connect Four. That's all right. Connect Four. Mm, that's a good one. Not heard of that one. No. Well, you see, there's no games in here. We, we could <laughs> sort of um, play knots and crosses in the dust on the floor, but there's not enough dust, really, is there? <laughs> yeah. What about these clothes? We could dress up in these clothes, couldn't we? You know, that'd be a game. But we could swap clothes, couldn't we? Oh, oof. Get you. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Uh, hang on. Hey, Hungry Hippos. Is that Hungry Hippos? <laughs> Should we play this? Yeah, class. That's a bit dusty as well, isn't it? It's very dusty. Which colour do you want to be? Um, green, most definitely. Right. That's all right. Yes, certainly. I'll be pink. What, what do you have to catch? This is it. I don't know. Is there a ball? <sighs> it's very unprofessional, man. I do apologise. Um, see, I've got loads of games up in Karen's bedroom, but I can't get access, you see. I'd have to pass my wife, Mary, which is right, in a bad yeah, mood. Yeah. This is why we're here, you see. In the, in, she kicked in, you out. Well, more or less, yes. But, um... It's just down the road from here, isn't it? What? Coming from York and stuff, being in Sheffield. 
Yes, you come from your. Yeah, yeah, just down the road, innit? Yeah, why have you got a Mancunian accent then? Because that's where I was born. Ah, I see. I haven't lost it. No, you haven't. No. Can you do a York accent? E by gum, lad. Aye, aye. <laughs> That's, that's not the hook. <laughs> it's, oh yay, oh yay. <laughs> Come on, let's play the game. We're rambling. Um, <laughs> we haven't got a ball, have we? Perhaps we can roll up a little bit of, uh, paper. Perhaps you can get a bit of your, your foil from your cigarettes. And, you know, roll it into a little this ball. very true. In fact, we could cut the cigarettes into little pieces, couldn't we? Hang on, the balls are here. Here they are, look. Loads of balls. Stick them in. So, you, you start. So what do you do here, then? I have no idea, lad. No idea. I think you got to catch you the... Have to go like that or something and it flips home and then you go like that? I like think that. you may be right. Oh! I nearly got it, then. No. Oh! We got... Yeah, you got to catch the ball in the... in the hungry hippo. But they're not very hungry at the moment, are they? <coughs> oh, you caught my finger, then, <laughs> lad. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. you got the cuticles. So listen. Um, Rick, you're in, uh, Shad 7, and, um, how long have you been doing this, singing? Um, for about, like, four years I Shed 7, but, like, ten years singing, like... Yeah. Are you trained? Are you trained vocalist? Uh, no, no. No, I didn't think so. I was training at Sainsbury's for a while, stacking shelves, but then... Yeah. Did you not sing as you worked? Uh... <laughs> no. Not really, no, cos... No. There's no job satisfaction, cos, like, you know, it's, I think it's important to have job satisfaction. It is indeed. And, and, like, when you're filling shelves and you're watching someone take stuff off the shelf you've just filled, there's no satisfaction there, is there at all, so... Why not? Surely there's satisfaction in seeing a happy, satisfied customer. Uh, you yeah, a strange attitude, lad, if you, you know, if you're not contented by... That no one was happy when they came in. Yeah. Anyway... I'm, I'm so winning here a bit, I think. You are winning. You're thrashing me. Anyway... Now, that song we heard of yours, that was very melodic. Uh, very nice, actually. Uh, you can sing, obviously. Thank you very much. But I understand it's, uh, it's about uh, naughty substances or something, isn't it? Um, yeah, yeah, but... Why well, did you write about that? Only yeah. through my view of what it is. I've had a bit of stick, actually, for writing such a song, but I suppose mm -hmm. it makes it all the more worthwhile, cos you're causing a reaction, aren't you, by people giving you stick. Well, you know, we're just going to... Um, alienate people, aren't you, you know, and just not going to want to buy it? Um, not really, no, because at the end of the day it's just my view on what it's like. I mean, I've never done it before, which is why people give me stick. But do you take drugs, then, because y your eyelids are quite droopy, I notice. <laughs> you know, they only, are, Only Benson's, not. only Benson and Edges. Yeah. No, I don't, don't really do drugs at all. No. I mean, there's too many things in life that are good, really. That's right. Anyway. Ah! He's won. That's the last ball. Oh, well done, Rick. Thank you very much. Let me shake you by the hand. It's got a... Uh, <coughs> it's a sturdy a hand. It's uh, got a little uh, spidery hand, isn't it? Quite willowy. You are right. There's <laughs> no spare flesh on you. Droopy eyelids and willowy hands. Can't go wrong, can you? <laughs> you can't. You can't. John! Yeah. John! What? Have you seen Julie? No, I haven't, Ken. No. Are you still broadcasting? Well, only just. Yeah. Mary's in a terrible mood. Yes. And banished from the lounge. Oof. Can Julie do some robotics? Something like that? No, Ken. No, I don't want her on the show anymore. No. She's rubbish. Oh. Anyway, Ken, I might not be doing any more shows. What do you mean? Might be going away. Where? Somewhere where I'll be appreciated. Oh. I'm going to sort it out now. Oh. See you later. Oh. Julie! Julie, where are you? Julie, love. Oh, there you are. What are you doing to me, Hansel and Gretel, Shelley? What do you think, playing Hansel and Gretel? Well, why is that young man tied up? Come on, back to the house. Your fish fingers are ready. Listen, Mr. Worthington, I think it might be better if Derek handled me affairs from now on. Who's Derek? My boyfriend. What? He collects military memorabilia. That's where I got the broadsword from. And my leather gauntlet. Oh, Julie. Does this mean you don't want to stay on my roster, then? Well, if you get me my own radio series, Satan's Showtime, I might consider it. I, I will, Julie. Anyway, I can't. I've got to get back to Keithley. I'm babysitting for my nephew, Liam, and his uncle, Nathan. They're both five, which is unusual, isn't it? It is, yes. Nice to meet you, Mr Worthington. I'll just check on Ansel. Bye. Oh, Julie. Shuttleworth Showtime.
Hello? Yeah? Yes, hello. Um, I very much like to be uh, Santa Claus. Yes? Um, there's a possibility of a job in England, but uh, I've just fallen out with my wife, you see, and it might be better if I'm somewhere where I might be appreciated more. Uh-huh, yeah? Do, do you have any vacancies in Greenland? Uh You just want my petrol money, you know, and uh, yeah. sustenance. Yeah? But, uh, uh, uh sorry, uh, the cabin bed uh, has been sold. Yeah? Yeah. Sorry, we sold it last week. Yeah, I see. Uh huh. So, sorry, she's gone. Sorry, my wife just came into the room then. Okay. Um, I, I had to pretend I was selling my son's uh, cabin bed. <laughs> um, what can I do for you? No, I want to be Santa. I see. But uh, where? Greenland. That, that's the whole point. I want to get away from uh, the uh -huh. country and be the, the official Santa uh -huh. worldwide, you know. I see. And that, uh, aren't you the man who can fix it up? I'm not just sure about that. Yeah. We have a person acting as Santa Claus in Greenland for the moment, actually. Already? Yeah. So, uh, I, I'm afraid the job is uh, is taken already. Humble. Optimistic there, with nothing but love. Ending tonight's edition of Shuttleworth Showtime. Thanks for listening, and uh, Merry Christmas to you. No, it's a bit early to say that. Uh, but is it? Is it? Well, yes, it is a normal. I'm in the mood now, I see. It's Shuffleworth Showtime. Oh, yeah. It's Shuffleworth Showtime. Thank you also to Rick Witter from Shed 7, Will Walker, Devil Worshipper, Nick Wilty, and uh, everyone in Greenland. Ho, ho, ho. And a special thank you to Jenny Eclair and Jane Batu. See you again next week. Ta-ra. God bless.